Silver rocks and Bitcoin flops. Hey guys, Louie here. Such a beautiful morning. I thought I'd come out on the porch, watch the sunrise, and uh, just talk to you guys for a little bit. I'll cut away from this image for um, in a little bit and we'll look at uh, some beautiful coins. So today we're going to have our tip of the week. I'm going to show you uh, two purchases I made. Uh, one, a brand new uh, coin or series uh, from AppMax. Uh, second one is some Silver Eagles I picked up a while ago. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, a, a flashback to an Apollo coin which uh, was made by the U.S. Mint. I'm going to talk about uh, the, uh, the Bitcoin versus silver um, uh, performance, all right? Um, and uh, we're going to just talk a little bit about the markets and about manipulation. All right, let's get all going. Right. For the tip First of the off, week, if you are thinking about buying cryptos, um, I'm going to give you a stock tip, and this is not financial advice, but uh, this harkens back to the, uh, um, the gold rush, California gold rush. And as you know, um, sometimes the miners struck it rich and sometimes they perished. Uh, kind of feels like that these days. But you know who did well? The people that sold the picks and the shovels. All right. Um, I think you should really consider if you purchase stocks at all, um, Coinbase. All right. Coinbase is the uh, transaction network that helps you buy and sell crypto. And uh, they have a license to uh, just mint money. Um, if you think crypto is going to be around and growing uh, exponentially, uh, so will Coinbase revenues. Uh, that's why the IPO was so hot, but it recently got smacked down here along with the price of cryptos. And uh, I own it, and I think uh, it has uh, uh, great potential over the long run. And uh, unlike the crypto itself, uh, it's just going to make money. It's just going to make money the bigger the market gets. So that is my advice if you are looking to, uh, to pick up um, a, a stock that has growth potential. Uh, I'd look at Coinbase before I would look at the cryptos. Um, I do think that uh, Bitcoin is probably getting close to a bounce here, around 30,000. Uh, but will it be a dead cap bounce? Yeah, it could very well be a dead cap bounce. Uh, you guys all know about bear markets, and uh, we just got out of ours in the silver and gold um, area, but uh, Bitcoin could be down here for a while. There are no guarantees, so, uh, you know, um, remember, money is hard to get, and uh, if you just lost half of it, I'm really sorry about that, man. All right, let's, uh, let's move on to unboxing. First, I want to show you um, these coins I got from AppMax. This has been two, three weeks ago, but I bought them on the first day of the release. Uh, paid about $35 a coin. It is a new series, and uh, I, I think it's going to be a series. Um, I can't recall for sure, but uh, this is the Porcupine Fish, and uh, they were about 35 bucks each. They are one ounce. They are $5 Tukalau uh, denomination, and uh, they're kind of cute. Anyway, I didn't go crazy with these. I only bought six to get free shipping, but uh, they're still for sale. And if you think 10,000 is a relatively low mintage, you may want to pick some up. I am getting a little tired of all the furry creatures and fish and birds and so forth. But uh, anyway, I picked up a few of those. Hope you enjoy uh, seeing them here. And they are not bad looking coins. All right, let's move on. Um, but uh, before I do, I want to let you know that uh, those uh, Engelhard London kilos are all sold, and the profits from those sales are what are what bought these silver eagles here. Um, so there are two tubes of silver eagles. I picked these up on eBay um, through Scottsdale, who was selling them cheaper than they were on their own site. I'm not sure what's up with Scottsdale. Um, they seem to be uh, trying to raise capital. Um, why else would they be um, uh, selling metals below market? Uh, and so uh, I, I don't know what's up with that, but you can take advantage of that. Follow them on eBay. If you get a 3.3% discount like I do um, on my eBay credit card, um, that, that brings the price down quite a bit on some of these. Um, I, I have looked to see if those discounts are accruing, and uh, I don't see a problem with that, but I have not bought a lot of gold this year. 
So uh, I'll keep a close eye on that, and they they are supposed to um, give you a statement credit for for um, uh, for everything you buy over a thousand dollars in a calendar year. Um, anyway, somebody said that they were having trouble getting them to honor that. So uh, just a word of warning there. But so far, no problem in my account. All right, and now uh, we're going to move on. And I uh, just happened to have this on my desk. I was thinking about selling it. Uh, this is uh, from a couple of years ago, the U.S. Mint uh, Apollo release. This is such a beautiful coin. It is five ounces, and it is uh, concave. I think it's concave, not convex. Um, and uh, just, just a gorgeous uh, commemorative. Uh, who says the mint doesn't uh, do uh, good commemoratives? Well, often often they lose value, but th this is a solid coin, and I believe I bought more than one of these. So I'm going to throw one up on eBay here and see how it does, but uh, you could do a lot worse. This is just beautiful, and I uh, thought you might enjoy seeing that if you don't have one. Um, I uh, they, they were pretty hot in the very beginning, and then they cooled off. There is a mintage of 100,000, which was probably a little more than the market really wanted of a five ounce coin. But uh, now with the increase in spot price and uh, uh, collectibles really you know, doing well, I, th I think this will bring pretty good money on eBay. So uh, there you go. If you haven't seen one of those before, um, there you go. And now uh, just to move on to the markets. Well, we have, um, um, you know, we have the uh, Bitcoin versus silver. I told you a few weeks ago that uh, I'd recommend uh, cashing out some Bitcoin and buying silver with it. So since I made that recommendation, and uh, there is the uh, the timestamp and everything on the video where I made that recommendation, um, we can see that uh, you know Bitcoin has uh, just crashed compared to silver. Um, I heard uh, actually just this morning on the Monaco channel that um, that JP Morgan is now trading derivatives in Bitcoin. Okay, that is really significant, guys. So uh, they may be finding a, uh, a new host uh, to be a parasite on, but uh, I think they have lost uh, control of the paper silver market. As you can see with the Perth Mint, uh, you know, the story that uh, Perth Mint has been running a fractional reserve, uh, unallocated gold, uh, I think it's gold or gold and silver market. You know, the LBMA claims to be having accounting irregularities with their physical inventory of silver. And of course, you've looked on the street and there is very little to buy on the street. Although luckily you can still, you know, get silver and gold online if you're willing to pay a little higher premium. Um, so uh, that that is the lay of the market. Looks really good for silver. Um, I did uh, pull my profits on silver miners at Gold Addicts. Uh, you can find him on Trading View and here on YouTube. Uh, his advice a couple of days ago, he nailed the top of the silver market, uh, short-term top. Um, so I cashed out my miners, uh, part of my miners, half of my miners, and I'm waiting for the pullback here. Hopefully we can get back to uh, 27, you know, something like that, and I, I'll reload those uh, those silver miners. Uh, they're, they've been doing just great. Um, someone asked, who are your favorite miners? Uh, my my top two are um, Hecla and Mag Silver. Um, I no longer uh, like um, First Majestic. They went ahead and bought a gold mine, which um, I think was really foolish on their part. But I think they just had too much cash, probably needed something to do with it. Not that that's a bad investment, but um, you know, uh, if, if I want to invest in a silver miner, I don't want to invest in a conglomerate. So I'm taking them off the list. But anyway, everything looks good for silver. It is, uh, I think, in a bull market here. I did buy some platinum the other day, which uh, got to smack down pretty good. Um, so a little bit of platinum. Um, definitely liking uh, the, the silver action. I think they're going to let it run. I think they, I think they are going to let it run over 30 just my thoughts for now, but happy to have the physical. If you ain't got the physical, you ain't got the silver. All right, guys, so go get some. Don't wait. Talk to you all later. Oh, and uh, next week uh, we have the Superwoman uh, coin uh, coming out. Looks really cute. Probably will do well. I believe we have the U.S. Mint release. Is that next week? I think it is of uh, the Morgan replicas. Uh, I'd get the Carson City if you're going to speculate in those. 
I still think there are too many of them uh, to, to make it a highly desirable coin, but it doesn't hurt to put in the order for 10 and see what happens. Um, and then wait for the peace dollar, which uh, will be the next hot one, I think. Um, and uh, anything else that comes up? All right, we're here and we are ready to rock and roll. It is great time to be a stacker. And uh, congratulations to everybody who is doing well in this market. Um, you know, we deserve it. All right, rock on, guys. Louie out.